Exactly. Darwin was so convinced of this rearward facing action of natural selection that he thought very much in terms of natural selection only solving problems over thousands or tens of thousands of generations. And this gave him a view that you could essentially never observe natural selection, that it would be like a geological process of mm -hmm. slow erosion, sedimentation, and so on. That is in fact scientifically incorrect. Darwin was wrong about that. Natural selection can move quickly over the course of a dozen to 50 generations to very significantly change an organism if it's confronted with an environment that is sufficiently and powerfully demanding in that respect. Okay. So natural selection can act quickly if there's enough pressure, if there's enough death and enough failure to reproduce. Mm. The beautiful thing about what our industrial chemists and automotive engineers have done is they've created lots of contexts in which we die mm. because of what they create. You know, So we are dying because of an onslaught of a high fructose corn syrup, a chemically engineered food product that even by the lights of medicine uh, is a health disaster. Um, brand, it's because it's a brand new thing in our environment. This can be contrasted with honey. Mm. Honey is something we've been eating for, yep. if not, I mean, millions, millions or tens of millions. Millions, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. You know, so primates frequently eat honey, especially yeah. omnivorous primates like ourselves. Yes. Um, so here you have two things that sweeten, honey and high fructose corn syrup. Well, we've been consuming honey for a very, very long time. We've been consuming high fructose for a very short period of time. Were there the characteristic fatty liver and other forms of pathophysiology arising from the consumption of honey 500 to 1,000 years ago? No, because we've been eating it, and our ancestors more precisely have been eating it for a very long time. High fructose corn syrup, brand new, complete disaster.